To test a boat's bonding system, we use many of the capabilities of a multimeter. The first check is for continuity by setting the meter to read ohms. Mine actually has an audible setting for checking continuity. This is a pretty common use of a multimeter, looking for low electrical resistance to show a completed circuit like this through-hull fitting connected to the bonding system or infinite resistance, like this broken connection between the C-strainer and the bonding system. We also need to make sure that electrical resistance between any two points in the bonding system is below 1 ohm. A loose or corroded connection will show us higher meter readings. We're also using the meter to measure voltage. In this case, the difference in DC volts between the electrical potential of the boat's bronze running gear and zinc anode, and this silver silver chloride reference electrode. When checking for stray current, we're setting the meter to read milliamps flowing from the bonding system wire through the meter to the through-hull fitting. In this case, showing a little over 2 milliamps, we've got a problem that needs attention. It should read near zero on the milliamp scale. Like a lot of meters, I've got two places to plug in the red lead. One would read up to 10 amps, and this one, which measures most of my settings, reads milliamps. And then I set this to milliamps, and I can select the range. These are just quick tests to verify that the bonding system is working properly. A problem in the bonding system should be addressed soon, but any indication of stray current needs to be resolved immediately.